Hello awesome people, welcome to smartphone tutorials and good news for you Redmi Note 4 owners out there. The latest Android version 7.1.1 has just been ported to the Redmi Note 4 courtesy Lineage OS 14.1. Let's have a look how it runs. It's a test build so there won't be any links but we're going to cover all the bugs, how's the development going so far and how smooth the latest Android version looks on this beautiful phone. Here we go. All right, so the install process remains the same. You have to flash the ROM, Google Apps, but as this is a new Android version, you have to flash the Android and firmware as well. We will have a detailed look at that when we have the download links available for you guys. So as you can see, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, a custom recovery like TWRP installed, and make sure you have 50% battery, all your data is backed up, usual stuff. And if you want to know how to do those, you know, we have videos that are mentioned in the description. Just go ahead and have a look at those tutorials and you will find it pretty easy to go ahead and unlock the bootloader or maybe flash the recovery and just go ahead and flash your ROM even if you're doing it for the first time. So just check the description and have a look at those videos and like, share and subscribe. Now as you can see on the screen, I'm installing Google Apps right now. I have already installed the Android and firmware and the ROM itself. So once these three files are flashed, as a precautionary measure, I would recommend you guys to go ahead and wipe cache and Dalvik cache so that we don't run into any errors on the first boot up and as always the first boot will take three to five minutes so please be patient while the phone boots up now once the phone is booted up you will be greeted to the home screen and while this is a test build before i start reviewing it uh, let me go ahead and give you a little detail on what bugs are present as of now as always uh, the camera quality on the stock uh, app that comes with the firmware is not up to the mark the default lineage os browser does force close at times i once experienced a pico tts force closure uh, bluetooth was not working you know uh, say about 15 minutes back but somebody happens to have found a way to get that working there's just a build prop edit that needs to be done the loudspeaker volume is low as it was in lineage os 13 the fingerprint sensor is working perfectly fine but at times you know it doesn't really respond immediately so that's a sort of a bug you know the latency is there now talking about what do we have in this particular ROM, we have the usual no good goodies like you know multi-window, quick reply and all the other usual stuff that comes with no good. I will show you that in a while and uh, along with this if you have a look at my previous video based on Lineage OS 13, almost all the features are the same. There are a few additions to Lineage OS 14.1 and the theme center is not there anymore and it will not be coming back so what i've done later in this video is i've you know gone ahead and installed uh, substrantum which works perfectly fine and with the black theme the user interface looks extremely good all right so first let's have a look at the no gut features so one of them is multi-window so to enable multi-window you just have to press and hold the menu key and once uh, you know the multi-tasking carousal appears you just need to go ahead and press and hold one of the apps and it will give you an option to open the multi-window feature. It looks really neat, works flawlessly, one of my favorite. Now the next feature that we're going to talk about is uh, display scaling or DPI. That's correct, you can change the DPI on this particular firmware, it's a no get feature. So as you can see on the screen, you can, you can go all the way down to the smallest and there's no crashing or no force close or no errors that we see. It works perfectly fine. And again, you can go to the highest setting as well. So, you know, based on your preference, you can set the DPI and you get a preview as well. And you don't have to reboot to make those changes as well. So that's a really, really neat addition. 
to the list of features now the next no good feature that we're going to talk about is quick reply as you can see I'm sending a text to my own number and the moment I receive that particular text without opening the messaging application I will be able to go ahead and reply to it from the notification bar itself there we go so it's pretty neat and convenient it saves a lot of time and it's a very very nice addition to the list of handy features that Google has been adding to newer Android versions all these years so let's move on to the features of this particular ROM as uh, in my previous video I will not be covering all the applications that are supplied with this particular ROM because they are almost the same you can have a look at that video which is mentioned in the description which covers Lineage OS 13 in detail what we will instead do is we will you know go through the settings menu of this particular ROM that is Lineage OS 14.1 and we'll have a look if there are any subtle changes or any huge changes one of them is the status bar you can edit it from the home screen itself and you just need to press and hold and move the setting or options to the active list and you can have up to two pages so as you can see on the screen it's really, really simple and it is very intuitive so you can just go ahead and use it it's really a nice feature and the animation the status bar slide down animation is just beautiful in Android 7.1.1 now looking at settings uh, it looks very organized and clutter free Wi-Fi is working perfectly fine and as you can see the nougat settings or a second menu appears to the left which gives you quick access to all the other options as I mentioned the Bluetooth bug was there so at the time of recording this particular video Bluetooth was not fixed but now it seems to be fixed and I'm expecting by the time this ROM is released it will be extremely stable from what we've seen in the past moving on to the list of features you know as always uh, sim cards dual sim works flawlessly voice over LTE is working perfectly fine I did not have any issues with the internet from the sim card the signal from Geo is on the lower side you can restrict data usage as always hotspot is working perfectly fine when you go to display you have live display and all the other options which are very useful at times because you know if you're someone who reads a lot of ebooks and stuff live display can be very handy and it will ensure that your eyes don't get strained based on the time of the day and it works perfectly fine color saturation is there picture adjustment is there so most of the features are there which should be present in a particular firmware moving on if we go to the next setting you can go ahead and change the font size from extremely small to extremely big so you know all the usual lineage OS customization options are present which I have covered in detail in that video which I mentioned now the battery life on this particular firmware is perfectly fine now double tap to wake and double tap to sleep is also present in this particular firmware now what we're going to do next is we're going to have a look at a few camera samples which I've clicked we're going to cover the stock MIUI camera which was clicked from a Redmi Note 4 we're going to cover the Lineage OS camera application which has a few issues and then we're going to cover Qualcomm Snapdragon camera so let's have a look at the picture samples so the first set of pictures that you see here are from the stock camera of MIUI stable version the latest update as always you can you know that is the best quality you can get out of this phone because that's from the official firmware now the second set of pictures that you see are from the Lineage OS camera so that has a few issues it doesn't give you the best of quality but then again if you click pictures using this camera as well under good lightning conditions they are pretty decent they are not on par with the stock firmware but they are acceptable is what I can say and for a test build it's a pretty good job is what the firmware is doing now the third set of pictures are from the Snapdragon camera which performs best on this particular firmware compared to MIUI stock camera application on the stock firmware 
the pictures come out pretty clear and uh, there's not a lot of noise as well sorry for the blurry image there the snapdragon camera works well on this particular rom so the camera issues are taken care of by a third party application is what i'd like to say here moving on we're gonna have a few benchmarks so let's have a look how well this particular firmware scores or this particular rom scores when it comes to ant2 and geekbench and as you can see i have already applied uh, the substantum theme and everything works perfectly fine and it looks beautiful in black so let's go ahead and see the benchmarks and we'll have a look at the scores and that would be all about lineage os 14.1 so all in all this is a test bill which was provided to me there you go the score is 58000 and the temperature is not that high as well so being a test build as well the phone is not heating up and uh, as i was saying earlier the scores are decent everything looks on par so looks like the redmi note 4 is ready for 7.1.1 and we should have a working build in a few days so if you like this video like share and subscribe and i would also like to thank all my subscribers for the amazing response that i've received in the first month itself this channel has reached more than 100 subscribers i plan on bringing exciting stuff to you guys every single day